Did you catch what happened last week with the two basketball doubleheaders? How about what made history in another sport? Find out next in the latest Pacer Minute. Last week, the women's basketball team went 2-0 to start PBC play, picking up wins over Georgia College and Georgia Southwestern. In the win over the Bobcats, Kyrie Chandler, Grace Crawford, Madeline Sexton, and Melek Toole scored in double figures in the five-point win. Against the Hurricanes, Kwajalein Farah poured in a career-high 32 points while pulling down 16 rebounds. Crawford and Sexton each hit in double figures as well. The victory over Georgia Southwestern was head coach Mark Miller's 250th career victory. Farah's 15 fourth-quarter points tied a school record for points in a quarter. This week, USC Aiken plays at Columbus State and Winston-Salem State. Xavier Barmore poured in a game-best 27 points while Tyleek Evans, Donnell Dean, and Miles Washington scored in double figures in the come-from-behind 87-85 win over Georgia College. The Pacers trailed by double figures in the second half against Georgia Southwestern but managed to outscore the visitors 10-0 over the final two minutes for the eight-point win. Barmore scored a game-high 21 points. Dean, Faison, Brock, and Evans all scored in double figures. This week, the Pacers play at Columbus State before hosting Payne on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Last week, Christine Carroll picked up honorable mention All-American honors by the D2CCA and AVCA. Rebecca Martinez was named the honorable mention All-American by the AVCA and first team selection by the D2CCA, becoming the first volleyball player in school history to earn first team All-American honors. That wraps up this edition of the Pacer Minute. We'll be taking a bit of a break for the holiday season, but expect to keep getting your weekly dose of Pacer Athletics news in January. Between now and then, for all the latest, make sure to follow Pacer Athletics on Twitter and Instagram and like USC Aiken Athletics on Facebook. I just, I can't form the voice in my head like, did you catch what happened last week with the two home basketball doubleheaders?